Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan at Primal Chiropractic and Primal Elite Fitness. We have a good one in this week's video blog today. We're going to be talking about the importance of bracing in the workplace environments and in the real world. So if you've been following this channel for a while, of course, we always want you to be in that ideal neutral alignment when we're doing any exercises in the gym like deadlifts, squats, and hinges. However, we're always not able to maintain that position with certain tasks throughout the day. So let's say you're a mechanic or you're a plumber and you have to get into over-rounded positions. That's what we're going to talk about today, how to protect your back in those awkward positions. So one of the best examples that I can give you is a World Strongman competition called the Atlas Stone Lift. They have to get into a very heavily rounded position to lift that stone. And ideally, yes, we don't want you lifting like that. However, you can easily prevent injury and protect your back in positions like that. And the way we do that is bracing the spine and the core properly. So when we get into that deep squat position in that heavily rounded low back, we don't want to be relaxed and lengthened too much. We can be in this position and then just attempt to get back into the neutral alignment, even though we're still a little bit overrounded. Brace the core, breathe properly through the diaphragm, and maneuver through the lift. There's a reason why those strong men do not get injured. It's because they're bracing their spine the right way. And just the opposite example, let's say you're an overhead worker, maybe an electrician or a painter and you have to get into excessive overarched positions throughout the day. You can easily be in this overarched position and be safe and comfortable if you try to close the gap through the front of the abdominal muscles. So when I get into that overarched position, even though I'm a little hyperextended, if I stay here and I just brace properly, trying to close that gap, you can easily maneuver and be pain-free in this position. However, the second I lose that brace and I just start to sit on the joints back there, this is how a lot of the pain and the injury will start to occur. And same thing with that over-rounded position. Once you lose the brace, especially in the over-rounded position, this is where maybe ligament and disc herniations can start to formulate over time. So if you guys have any questions, always reach out. If you need any help with treatment, give us a call and we'll see you on the next one.